We all want to open up our mixes or make our microphones sound better for recording or streaming. Well, I've got something for you today, and you don't have to be a pro. Now, Slate Digital just dropped a major update for their Fresh Air plugin. In addition to some performance improvements, it's also now native Apple Silicon compatible. And the best thing is, it's still free for all of us. Well, I guess that's the best thing as long as it works well. So let me show you how to use Fresh Air for mixing in your DAW and live streaming with OBS Studio. Then I'll show you how to get the plug in and make sure you stick around because I got another tip for you. Okay, so now I've opened up a session here in Studio One and I've thrown Fresh Air on two of the tracks for the guitar as well as for the vocals. So we'll start out here with the vocals. I'll go ahead and solo those and uh, take a listen. Where have you been? It's like I waited all my life. Now I have options here with Fresh Air. I can have these uh, controls linked. We've got a mid air and a high air. And so with the link selected, as I lift it, they'll both go together. I can also shut that off and raise just the mid or just the high. And the nice thing is too, if I want to link them, so I say I want to have 15 here and I want this one at sitting at around five, just a little below. And then I link them, they'll both move together, but one will always be relative to the other one the same. So that's really cool. Let's start out here. I'll just go ahead with them unlinked and I'll turn the vocal on and uh, just try it, try it out for you. Where have you been? It's like I waited all my life. So happy that I found you on paper thin. And obviously that was way too high there at the top. Now I'll go ahead and try out the high boost. Where have you been? It's like I waited all my life, so happy that I found you. Okay, and now I'll link them up. Paper thin. I haven't always been this shy, but haven't felt this in a while now. Okay, and perhaps more important is how is it going to sit in the mix? So I'll turn the solo off and now we'll try it with everything. Where have you been? It's like I waited all my life, so happy that I found you on paper thin. I haven't always been this shy, but haven't felt this in a while now. Where have you been? And so that'll give you an idea, just it really opens up the top end on the vocals and makes them sit above the mix. Now I'll go ahead and throw on the uh, guitar here. So you can just hear how it opens it up at the top. Now I'll just take the solo off and let's listen to the difference with and without here. So I'll start out without both of them. Where have you been? It's like I waited all my life. Now let's add him in. Happy that I found you on paper thin. I haven't always been this shy, but haven't felt this in a while now. So it really opens things up. It kind of elevates whatever you put it on above the mix. And that can be really great if you want to feature any one thing in the mix. So really cool there. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of hiss. That's from the recording. This has got a tape plug-in saturation. I got a lot of other stuff going on here that's going to cause that. And of course, you could clean that hiss up if you want. But that's just to give you an idea. Now let's hop over into OBS Studio. So to set up Fresh Air in OBS Studio, all you need to do is go into the filters for your microphone and add a VST plugin. You'll see Fresh Air listed there and you'll be good to go. Now I have Fresh Air as well as the SPL Dual Band DS are open here and I'm going to let you hear this on a hot, on a live mic. So what we'll do is uh, just go ahead, I'm going to start ramping up the sound here and you'll hear right away the presence coming in there. And I'm using the SM7B here. It of course is a, definitely a little bit darker microphone. And uh, so this is gonna lift it up. And of course we can go far too high with this. And uh, the same thing applies with the high air frequency. It's just gonna pick up some of those higher frequencies and boost them as well. So you can hear that. 
Now, one of the things you'll notice is that I start to get a lot of sibilance as things are going on here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead to the SPL dual band deesser, and this is both a high range and a medium range. I'm just going to set it up in the middle. I'm not going to do anything fancy. You'll see already it's showing that it's reducing some sibilance, so that's good to see. Now, when I go ahead and start boosting the frequencies with fresh air, you'll see that it's actually going to cut out even more. Sibilance, 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 sibilance. It really starts to cut it out. Now, again, you can play around with this. It's going to be different depending on your microphone and voice combination. For me, I like to do kind of less is more approach. So, you know, you might try setting this up around 15 on the, uh, on the low end, rather, and about 5 on the high end. And that kind of gives you a little bit of both a little bit of clarity in the mid-tones as well as uh, some extra boost up at the top, but you have the de here to control the sibilance. And again, if I turn the de off, you can hear what this sounds like now without it. And if I put it back on, now you can hear what it sounds like with it. So again, without fresh air, this is what the sound is like. Nothing uh, to add that extra clarity. And finally, again, with fresh air, this is what you get. So to get Slate Digital Fresh Air, go to the website, and scroll down and click on the Get It Now icon. Now you'll need to either create an account or use one that you already have with Slate. So just go ahead and do that. And once that's done, go ahead and get the plugin. Don't worry about activating it here. Just go ahead and choose a download and then choose whether you need Windows or Mac. After a brief download, you'll have the file. You'll have to accept the license agreement and that'll open up Slate Digital Connect. From there, choose Install Fresh Air. Once that's done, you can exit and start up your favorite DAW. I'm going to use Persona Studio One. Now, your DAW is going to detect the plugin. All you need to do is click Go Ahead and Activate, and it's going to set it up for you. And there you go. Fresh Air is going to be available in any application that uses VST or Pro Tools plugins. Now, I've got to say the SPL Dual Band DSer is pretty slick, works really well, and it's easy to set up. So if you want to check that out, head on over to Plugin Alliance. I've got a link for that below. But if you want a tip on how to set up your own custom DSer for free, check out this video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.